Welcome back. As we promised at the top of our show, uh, Sheriff Javier Salazar giving a news conference, giving us an update of what's going on with the Bear County Jail. He just uh, he's taking questions now, but we wanted to share with you some of what he said. Uh, the sheriff was joined by Deputy Chief Roland Schuler. He is now going to be leading the COVID-19 response at the jail. He's a chief deputy who has a lot of experience in the medical world. The sheriff also gave us some updated numbers for you. 40 detention deputies still positive for COVID-19. 23 have recovered. So 63 in all have tested positive. And there is a deputy in ICU. He's been released from the hospital and he is on. He is at home now and he is on an oxygen tank. So we, there's an update from Sheriff. Yeah, we didn't get any information as far as the overall population with the COVID numbers are there. But he did say and is that 15 inmates tested positive for COVID-19 were released on bond into the community. Uh, he did not, again, give updated figures on the overall population that remains in jail. So there's your update. We'll have a complete wrap up on KSAT 12 News at 5 today. Of course, everything will be on our website as well. KSAT.com. Netflix, meanwhile, announcing the fourth and final season of 13 Reasons Why. It's going to premiere on June 5th in the 10 episode season, Liberty School High School's senior class preparing for graduation. The popular young adult drama is about teenagers, uh, as particularly one who sent various classmates audio recordings to explain why she committed suicide. The story expands on the topic to include an attempted school shooting and a popular athlete who's also a sexual predator. The British comic and host of Last Week Tonight, John Oliver, giving support to the U.S. Postal Service with his stamp of approval, literally. Oliver said stamps were still a key revenue generator for the post office, so he and his team wanted to help out by designing a few. It features characters from the show like a free-spirited otter, a giant squirrel, and one of his weekly segments. The stamps are for sale now at stamps.com. And actress Tina Fey says more than $115 million was raised towards supporting New Yorkers who were impacted by COVID-19. All that money raised during a virtual telethon. Several A-list celebrities participated in the one-hour benefit. All of the donations are going to provide support for food, shelter, cash assistance, mental health, legal services, and for education. And speaking of stamps of approval, they always get the stamp of approval. Jen and Fiona and look they've got artwork that very well nice artwork there. but yeah. you guys didn't do it right yeah, we, we cannot take the credit of the for these and although a lot of folks are spending more time at home couples may not be spending more quality time together so we've got ways you can squeeze in a date night with your main squeeze and of course even brush up on some art skills Plus, date night dinner ideas. If you don't feel like cooking something up, we'll tell you how you can enjoy delicious meals delivered to your door that'll add some flavor to your romantic night in. And from date night ideas to family night fun, how to camp out while staying in and turn your backyard into a campground. Adina Anderson from Creative Lifestyles with Adina shows you how and how you can make s'mores using a banana peel. No kidding. All right, and we're all familiar with working from home. How about taking that home office to a luxury tent which has the complete setup and all the glamping perks? Yes, plus even more spots where you can check out that have tree houses and teepees. I'm talking about the good stuff there. And it's a trend, a popular trend on social media and we can show you to get creative, a crafting project that'll keep you having fun with your clothes. I think our producer Nicole gives it a try too. <laughs> so we want to know what kind of at-home dates have you tried? Let us know. Share pictures of, you know, the date. Yeah. You know. Show us what you did. Okay. Yeah. You let us know. Tag <laughs> us on Facebook and Twitter at <laughs> SA Live KSAT and you might see your photo pop up on the show. All that and more when SA Live takes the reins in a few minutes. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. And one last look at the seven day forecast here. We've still got some showers and storms uh, moving north of San Antonio. We'll have about a 60% chance of some storms, mainly east of I-35 this afternoon, but flooding is a real threat. We still have some flash flood warnings out there for Kamau County until 2.30 p.m. Make sure you check that KSAT uh, uh, weather app for the latest on the radar. We're going to get some more chances of storms late in the week too into the weekend. Guys. Thank you, Justin. So the paintings were impressive, but do the artists count as artistes? 
or are they still just artists? I think anybody who can put some color on a canvas is an artiste. Is an artiste? Yes. And, uh, you know, I love the idea of date night, but please don't send all the video of all the date night. Ooh. Essay Live. What do you say? doesn't saying? need that. It's a family show? Is that what you're Yes. Saying? Yes. All right. Well, the family show continues, right? Now. Well, summer is coming fast, so plan a beautiful getaway. Find out how you can even get discounts on some fun in the sun. And if you aren't looking for a place to get away, maybe you can find out some ways you can camp in your own backyard. We have an adventure that you can plan with your whole family. Plus, a steak and seafood dinner not too long ago. David Elder got to go to a steakhouse in town, so we're taking a look at everything they've got to offer. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. Hello and happy Tuesday. I'm Jen Tobias Chesky filling in for Mike Osterhage today. Yes, and I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And while we've been spending time at home with our spouses, have you been working on maybe spending time together as a couple, you know? Right. We want to know what kind of at-home dates have you tried and let us know and share those photos. Of course, it could be just like a nice charcuterie, maybe a glass of wine, whatever it is you're doing. Just tag us on Facebook or Twitter at SA Live KSET and you might see those photos a little later in the show. Yes, and we were just looking at Jazz Texas. Yes. They are going to be doing a live show tonight at Ooh, 8. So nice. that's an idea, of course for a date night from home. And another one is painting with your partner. Painting with a Twist is offering kits to bring home so you can enjoy the magic of creating your own artwork from the comfort of your house. And that's gonna be coming up a little later, but before that, let's talk about some camping because that can be romantic too, right? Well, our lifestyle expert, Adina Anderson, has you covered today, and this is something you can do with the whole family. Maybe mom and dad can have their own tent, right? And then the kids, okay, take a look. <laughs> Adina here with Creative Lifestyles with Adina. The weather is getting nice out. Let's get the kids out, let them play. Maybe do a little camping in the backyard with some fun games. And I'm gonna first do this fun little treat that I used to do when, we, when I was in Girl Scouts. And you just take a banana and you cut down the center here and you fill it with all the yummy uh, chocolate chips and marshmallows. And if you don't have a grill set up outside, you could even do it in your oven at like 350 for about 10 minutes. But if you do have a grill, just go ahead and put it on the grill for about 15 minutes. So after you get it filled with all this goodness, just wrap it up in the tin foil, wrap it up really good. And then you just stick it right on the grill. It's your little campsite. And let it sit there for about 10 minutes or so. And then while that's cooking, let's get the kids out to have some fun. So I just took some paper plates, cut out the circle, took a little bit of deco art paint here, and put a little dab on there. And you only need about one coat on here. And I did all different colors. I did red and yellow and blue. And then I made this little pole over here out of just a paper towel roll and a can. And I wrapped some just construction paper around it. And so then, once you have that done, you can have the kids just throw these, almost like a little ring toss. Oh my God, I almost got that. Did you see that? <laughs> Look, okay, a little bit more arm there. Uh, uh, almost, yay. <laughs> So another fun game is just take some more plates. These are just styrofoam plates. And I took some more construction or cardstock paper and I cut out little numbers. So we have 10, 20, 30 and glue those to the plates and then make these little, little bags that you can throw. And all I did was take some felt. If you have material or maybe an old pillowcase or something, you can cut it up and take your hot glue gun and just put a little bit on each side so you can seal that and then fill it with the rice. And then you seal the end right there, and then it's a little toss game that you can do for the, whoops, <laughs> for the paper plates. I'm gonna hit you there. <laughs> so it's just fun for the kids, you know, it's just things to get them outside and enjoy themselves in the backyard. And another fun game is with some more cans. I always tell you guys, keep your cans. <laughs> and just take a little glue dot here, put some more paper around, like so. And then take some more paper and just write some numbers like 10, 20, 30. And then if you have a ball, you go ahead and toss it into the cans and then they can count how many points they get. So they could really play this with maybe golf balls or wiffle balls or maybe milk top pops, whatever. You can just throw those in there. So should we check on our banana and see how that's going? All right, let's pull this out. Now this one, maybe TV time cooked a little better. 
And to enjoy your banana, make sure you have water outside with you because it's really hot out right now and you wanna make sure you get a really good water bottle that's safe. And this is a really good one. You can get it online, Contigo, they're great products. And that way each kid can have their own color. So here's our banana. Oh my God, look at all that melted goodness. How yummy is that? Let me grab my spoon here. This is my favorite treat as a kid. So I've always just kept making this, even when my kiddo was little. Oh my gosh, okay guys, here we go. Oh my God, so good. Thanks guys for having me on. Everybody stay safe, get creative, have fun, get outside, get the kids outside. If you don't have a tent, maybe you just put a couple sleeping bags or something out there and just have fun. Bye guys. I love the banana idea. I would have never thought of that, but I think it's less messy too. And that would be great for my little ones. And coming up after the commercial break here in a little bit, we're gonna show you some glamping spots. So if you do wanna maybe venture out a little bit more, we have a whole list for you. Yes, and I love them because there are teepees, there are tree houses, so you can still get into the great outdoors while social distancing. So, so. <laughs> and remember those day night ideas we were mentioning earlier, you know, Jazz Texas is doing yes. show at eight o'clock tonight and painting with a twist has a way you can release your inner artiste at home. Which is so cool, because mm -hmm. I love that play. So yes, Mike and Bonnie gave it a try with one of their take home kits. Take a look. Well, if you're like Bonnie and I, you played all the games, you've watched <laughs> all the movies, and what do you do for a date night now? Since we got we're... a little bored. Yeah, how about painting with a twist? This is a date night, and they supply you with everything you need, and the whole point is there are two canvases because... We're gonna paint. And these are gonna be <laughs> kind of like mirror image paintings. Uh-huh, sure they yeah. are. And they give you everything here. There's your painting kit, my painting kit. Cups of water. Is there any talent plates. in there? Any artistic ability in there? No, but it does come with a bottle of wine. We just got artsier. All right. <laughs> now, they don't just give you all of the painting supplies and then leave you hanging. There's actually an online video that you can follow along with. It's got all the step-by-step -step instructions. Or if, like me, you prefer to read, it also gives you step-by-step -step printed out instruction so you can either watch it on the video or keep your little cheat sheet right here beside you which is what i'll be doing yes and among other things they include disposable aprons yes all right let's all get right, started with the background let's go. Ta -da. okay all right now what oh she did Step the two. Uh, paint a white line gray streak called the horizon hor uh, horizon <laughs> line <laughs> I was the horizon say, the, I was gonna say <laughs> horizontal. I was gonna say horizontal. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The horizon line is horizontal. Make sure this lines up with your painting's partner's line. Oh, this ought to be good. Rinse, then dip into black and streak along the edges of the water to create shadow. Oh, oh wow. Okay. We have to line like, this up. Almost sounds like somebody's doing their hair. Rinse and then dip into black. Rinse and repeat. With streaks. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We got this. We gotta make it. We gotta make it line up. I know what you're thinking. You'll be able to see it on mine. Relax. Why don't I make the no. first line? Because you're better at, like, you'll be able to match where I go Here. better than me why, trying to match where you go. Why don't we move go. the paints over this way and so our canvases can join like us? You really weirded me out. <laughs> All right. I feel like I'm in my gray period. Not unlike Van Gogh or Picasso or whoever had a... <laughs> but, in, but when the salons finally open up, she'll be out of her gray period. So. Wow. I'm wow. It. Date night is not looking good for you. Uh, about two-thirds of the way down. I don't know fractions. Let's, here, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> they said there wouldn't be math. Nobody said this. Okay. Why don't you start here in the middle? Uh-huh. See, so where our lines match up. Okay, ready? Ready, go. Why don't we quit while we're ready? No, I think we're done. Oh. I have paint in my hand. <laughs> get I just want to cut this out and paste it on there and go, oh, look. You know. Hey, let's just blow this we up. We could blow that up. But then that would take away this this togetherness, this wonderful bonding moment that's that's clearly working out knew so well. that was going to happen. My island is, um, is better than dad's. I don't see. I don't think so. Well, I well actually, I do right now. If I'm telling the truth. <laughs> you know? There, look, an island. Where? Hey, just video. Okay? No, you're supposed to do it over here too, though. See, there's supposed to be lighter streaks over on this side as well. I forgot to rinse. Oh, that's oh. why yours is not as good as mine. I feel like I might be done. If you, if it's far enough away, 
<laughs> It'll look like an elephant. I mean, look at that. See? Wait. Squint. It's blur the camera. Squint. I, I think we're just done. I'm going to call mine a study in gray. Am I going to teepee? Are people camping on the earth? Can you reenact the uh, no. ghost? No. Oh, oh don't. Uh, Please stop. Please don't get that on video. <laughs> Cactus with a bloom on top. That's just horrible. Kind of. Yeah. Horrible. It's, it's pretty bad. Remember, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Fixed it. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> All right, time for the big reveal, the piece de resistance. You know. Hey. I think that's pretty good. I think we, well, well let's see, let's see. Nailed it. Yeah. Nailed it. Couldn't this tell is the difference. You know what? I feel like they're going to ask us to be like their demo people at Painting with a Twist. I feel like they're going to use us as the example of how good this something can be. Or what not to do. <laughs> anyway, Painting with but a Twist. it was twist. fun. It yeah. was a fun alternative to our usual date night. Yeah, a fun date night. Cheers. Cheers. Yay. I know right where this is going. Over the fireplace. <laughs> how about in it? <laughs> <laughs> job okay so we didn't even notice this earlier let's put it together Look, like they just did yes and bada -bing, bada -bing. yes and mike was texting us <laughs> to make sure that we had it correct don't worry mike just for you mike yes don't there worry you go. okay and painting with a twist <laughs> of course uh offers different kits so the whole family can get involved they have the kits for kids and the adults you can order directly from one of their locations or online You've got all the feels for a summer getaway. We'll show you how you can start planning now and even score some discounts around town. More SA Live coming up. And still ahead, delicious date night dinner ideas. Remember when David Elder took a trip to Bohannon's Prime Steak and Seafood? We're bringing it back to round out your perfect date night. Welcome back to SA Live. When it comes to getaways, we can all use some social distancing relaxation. Yes, we sure can. Yes, mm. this is about the time that you can start booking some of those Texas hotspots that are secluded for a nice way to relax, recharge, and some of these places are offering some deals for our SA Live viewers. We start with Stonewall Motor Lodge Inn off Highway 290, the wine trail between Johnson City and Fredericksburg. This place is a retro 1960s motor lodge that was fully renovated last year, originally built in 1964 to house the U.S. Secret Service and Press Corp when Lyndon B. Johnson became president. They have four cabins available and some other lodging. Activities nearby include walking to the Perdonales River and LBJ State Park is just a few minutes away. For SA Live viewers, they're offering a $25 gift certificate. All you have to do is go to their website and enter your email. And it's good until August 31st. EssayLive.com and click that As Seen on Essay Live tab to get that information. Look at that. Look at that deck right there. Relaxing. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> well, how about some more breathtaking views, hiking trails, and nature? In the heart of the hill country, you'll find collective hill country. They understand that during these tough times, connection to the outdoors has never been so relevant or felt so rewarding. So they are offering a work from tent deal. That's right. You can work from your cozy tent to safely distance yourself from your everyday schedule while having Wi-Fi, out an outdoor place to get the job done, and of course, farm to table dining delivered mm. straight to your tent. Okay, you can also keep social distancing while enjoying the glamping perks. This Hill Country secret is located in Wimberley, about an hour from San Antonio. I love that, taking the work I from know. home I'll, I'll to the work from out. the luxury mm -hmm. tent. Take a nice walk on your break. All right, a luxury camping experience that fosters rest and intimate connection. You can relax in these safari-style canvas tents and just take in nature. I mean, that's what it's all about. Walden Retreats is located five miles north of Johnson City, just over an hour from San Antonio. They have some limited DIY campsites available, and they also have uh, pet-friendly tents as well. And right now, SA Live viewers can get 10% off if you use the promo code KSAT2020. Also Where's very you? relaxing. Look, look, at, look that. at that. You're I waking know. <laughs> up to that view and Where's those the coffee? huge Where's the lunch? <laughs> picture windows. I mean, how... I mean, you're, you would just start your day in an amazing, mm -hmm. yes, every in. single morning. <laughs> 
All right, how about staying the night in a treehouse or teepee? Between New Braunfels and Seguin, Geronimo Creek Retreat is up and running for the season. Their rooms are not clustered like other hotels, so you'll be able to distance while enjoying kayaking, paddle boarding, fishing, and more. They have tree houses, cabins, and teepees, and these are fully air conditioned with lots of amenities to enjoy while getting away from your everyday routine. And I've been up in some of those, you know, teepees, uh, in some of those tree houses, excuse me, and the air conditioning, it's on point. Oh, that, that's important. Say. That's a big that's deal. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That looks so fun. And over near Seguin. All right. What about some stargazing and watching some wildlife? Over near Bernie, you'll find Rock Harbor Hill Country Lodge. This quaint getaway spot has a few cabins and some luxury tents, and they all have a private hot tub to go along with it. If you're looking for some peace and quiet and a relaxed atmosphere, this is the place for you. Near Nearby, you can see birds, deer, buffalo, squirrels. Ah, so relaxing. Wild Kingdom America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all while enjoying coffee, maybe some wine. It's about 45 minutes north of San Antonio, a little bit closer on this one. How about a modern Texas campground near Canyon Lake and the Guadalupe River? Mystic Quarry Resort designed for those who camp and those who don't. From <laughs> tiny houses to boho teepees and, of course, cabins and cottages. There's even RV and tent sites available. Dogs are welcome at some spots. And they even have a place to, you know, wash your dog, like oh, a dog wash. Oh, it's good. so cute. Okay. <laughs> they, they have a nomadic teepee, glamping pod, you know, that you'll never see. You'll, you'll never see camping the same after this. You can get a 10%, you can get 10 off your stay by mentioning SA Live from now through July 20th, excluding, of course, the 4th of July weekend. They have a list of other specials available right now. All you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab for a link to their website. And if you're willing to take a drive to Marfa, Texas, this is the, how about a Cosmic Casita? That's what that is right there. Whoa. Yes, El Cosmico is a true getaway. Stargazing is out of this world there. Yes, TP, Safari Tents, and there is no Wi-Fi, guys, but it is meant that way. I think they have a lobby that does have it, though. <laughs> and part of the culture is just the beauty of doing nothing. Again, we'll say it again, relaxing, enjoying a nap, you know, just taking in nature. Make sure you give it a look-see there on our website, salive.com, for all of these places. I just want to relax now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, still ahead on the show. Support local businesses and restaurants. We are revisiting when David Elder went to Bohannon's, and you can bring the mouth-watering menu to your home. Mm -mm -mm. And next, stress levels in men can cause real issues that they might have trouble talking about. But Mel Medical Group is here, and they have a lot of advice for them. SA Live continues after the break. Well, do you have a lack of energy and motivation? It could be more than just the old quarantine blues. 23 million men experience similar roadblocks that can keep them from feeling 100%, but it doesn't have to be that way. Mail Medical Group is turning back the clock every day for men here in San Antonio. And Marco Zambrano is one of the group's lead patient counselors. Good afternoon, Marco. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you very much. Okay, so you're healthcare professionals for men's. What kind of issues do you help guys with? All kinds of issues, really uh, hormone related is our main thing. Um, but, uh, you know, you were right a while ago when you said the, uh, this whole COVID-19 thing, you know, it's keeping everybody at home. Um, everybody's, you know, putting on that a little bit of weight, you know, that COVID weight, that's what I've been calling it lately. I think I got some myself a little bit. <laughs> but um, it's definitely something that doesn't have to be, though. Uh, definitely something that we can that we can work on. Okay, yeah, so, because obviously the, the quarantine's not helping issues at all, but low T is something we've always heard about for a while, so how can testosterone replacement therapy help? Well, testosterone replacement, basically what we're doing is that we're actually, just like, the, just like it says, uh, we're, we're replacing um, what's not there. So basically what's lacking. Um, you know, filling up those, those dead spots, you know. Um, our testosterone goes, uh, gets lower as we get older, um, basically on a, on a downslope. And uh, what we do here is we just replace what's not there um, and just make us feel, you know, good again, normal, like we, like we used to when we were a little bit younger, you know. Uh, give us that, uh, that more vibrant and uh, more energetic, uh, you know, everywhere out and about when you're in the gym or, um, or at home right now, actually. Um, and even, you know, when you're with a wife or, or whatever, you know, uh, just energy all the way around. A lot of times guys are maybe too proud to, you know, admit something's wrong. What do you say to guys that aren't sure if they want to reach out? Oh, gosh. I mean, this, this is so common right now. Um, 
people coming in here. And it's actually a lot more common for people to actually come in here and say, you know, God, I just, I didn't want to talk about this, you know, but uh, I just, I can't handle this anymore. I just, I need to do something about it. I think people more now are realizing that um, there is something that they can do and, uh, and are moving forward to, to uh, remedy that. So with everybody being at home now, there's a lot of things you can get done, but some guys just aren't really motivated to do all those, the honeydew list around there. And you can help with that, right? Sure can, you know, give us a call. If you're out there, I mean, you're at home just doing nothing, watching TV, you know, um, you know, watching this show, you know, get up, get, you know, do something about it. If you don't do anything about it now, nothing's ever gonna get done and you gotta keep on feeling the same way. Um, my advice, you know, get up, do something about it. That way you can have the energy to, to you know, move forward and, and go and hang out with your family after all this is done. Hopefully it's done pretty quick. Okay, and you've got a special going on right now for the first 10 people to call or text. Yes, we do have a special right now. First 10 people, um, uh, $100 gift card actually we're giving out right now and it's a $39 console. Okay. Uh, so take advantage of that, we'll take care of you. So once again, that special is the first 10 people to call or text will get a consultation with a medical provider plus level testing for just $39. That's usually a $300 value. And on top of that, you get a $100 gift card to apply to any of Mail Medical's services. So give them a call at 210-361-1203 or go to the website mailmedicalgroup.com. Good chatting with you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Still ahead on SA Live, looking for a new way to get creative. How about crafting while you're updating your closet at the same time? We're going over one clothing trend popular right now on social media. And next, we're throwing it back to when David Elder visited a local date night spot. Check out what they're doing today and how you can enjoy their delicious meals. This is the time to support our local businesses, especially those in the food and drink industry. Yep, so we are taking a look back at when our David Elder went out to Bohannon's Prime Steak and Seafood. And since we've been talking about date night ideas and all of that, this could be a good one. Take a look. In downtown San Antonio, to go into one of the most refined, elegant, and award-winning steakhouses here in all of San Antonio. I'm talking about Bohannon's Prime Steaks and Seafood. I'm gonna go inside, show you what they got cooking up in the kitchen. We're gonna talk with Chef Mark Bohannon himself. Let's go check it out. Located in the heart of downtown San Antonio near the Riverwalk is Bohannon's Prime Steaks and Seafood, an award-winning restaurant known for its high level of service and for their rare cuts of beef that you can't find at your average steakhouse. Man, here we go, the order's up. Chef Mark Bohannon opened the steakhouse more than 15 years ago in 2002 in a building built in the 1800s. I'll never forget that day. His mission, to offer guests flawless service, exceptional wine, and the best cuts of steak he can find. We sell at Bohannon's all prime grade steaks from Allen Brothers out of Chicago now for 14 of the 16 years. We have also added the Miyazaki Prefecture out of Japan, which we lovingly call A5. That simply means five grades above prime. This one right here is the A5 beef filet. That means it's five levels above prime. This stuff is insane. Here we go. Looks delicious, I'm excited. <laughs> First off, it just melts in your mouth. The outside has a nice char to it. It's perfectly salty, and that's a part of the preparation that they do here in Bohannon's in the kitchen. And they just crack a little bit of pepper on the outside of it. This is by far one of the juiciest, best, most tender steaks and flavorful. This is what you need to order when you come out here. I'll be the first to say that nothing in life is perfect, but the way we look at it is if you shoot for perfection, God help us, we're gonna get at least what we can accept. The steak selection here is unlike anywhere else, and the sides are just as impressive. Here we go, we have some red wine and veal reduction mushrooms. <laughs> These mushrooms taste just as good as that steak, that's crazy. Check that out, cream spinach. Oh, that looks good. That is phenomenal. Even if you don't like spinach, you're gonna like this cream spinach. That is so good. 
The restaurant has an award-winning wine list and a bourbon that is aged just for them. So something you're not going to find anywhere else when you come out here to Bohannon's, they have their own blend of Woodford. Look at that. That's bourbon, baby, right there. Ooh. Oh, that is smooth. Getting to be one of the best steakhouses in the nation doesn't come easy, but Chef Bohannon has the recipe for success. We're all like-minded. It's the total experience. We're here from the valets until you leave with the valets. You're gonna love that. When it comes to living your best life or celebrating a big occasion, Bohannon's has you covered. I would eat this uh, with my bare hands right now. To get more pictures, videos, and information on restaurants around Texas, just follow me on Instagram at Elder Eats. Keep eating San Antonio for SA Live. I'm David Elder. Right? <laughs> and you can get some of that food to go to really amp up your date night at home. Yes, and their other restaurant, Peggy's on the Green in Bernie, is offering curbside and meals to go. So you can still get that deliciousness. Uh, and they're, all, they're not open, the one in Bernie, for sit-down meals just yet, but you can still enjoy the food. And their nonprofit, Houston Street Charities, along with the San Antonio Cocktail Conference, has put together one place where you can help out local restaurants. Yes, you can go to their website, sacocktailconference.com slash shop, and you can choose a local restaurant to donate to, and they will, and you will receive a gift card, and you can use that in the future. Nice. All great ways to support local restaurants right now. Still ahead, support other local businesses. We're going back to when Jen got to visit <laughs> Wild Seed Farms in Fredericksburg. Learn all about the local beauty and we're going to talk about what they're doing now. And next, while everyone has been at home, a lot of social media trends and have started. One of those on TikTok has been bleaching sweatshirts. We're finding out how to add that to your closet and, and do a craft at the same time. Okay, I haven't seen this trend, but all right, our producer gives it a try. That's coming up. Well, have you been on top of social media while staying at home? One of the rising social media apps is TikTok, and this app is known for sharing <laughs> dance videos, but also has some creative hacks or crafting ideas. And if you're one of the cool kids, you know about exactly. TikTok. Like, <laughs> I'll get there, maybe, I don't know. One of the biggest trends on the app right now is bleaching sweats, uh, sweats, sweatshirts, pants, tank tops, all of that. Okay, that to go with accident. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all of it. All right, one of our producers, one of the cool kids, <laughs> Nicole Maddox. Gave it a try. Take a look. Hi guys, producer Nicole Maddox here, again with another craft. Now, there is this trend going on online where you bleach one of your sweatshirts. You can either buy a new sweatshirt, take something that you already own. It's kind of like tie-dyeing where you tie it up and you pour the tie-dye on it, but you're using bleach instead. So if you're looking for a new craft or if you want to make your own outfit, kind of zhuzh up your closet, why not give this a try? I did. Let's see how I do. First things first, you need to pick your actual sweatshirt. I like the navy because it really pops with the bleach behind it, but you can do whatever you want to. This is your craft. Next, it's rolling time. You can either roll it up like you would with a tie-dye shirt to make more of the swirling pattern, or you can just scrunch it up wherever you want to using rubber bands. And now for the bleach. You're gonna wanna use some kind of surface that you do not mind getting bleach all over. I used a bathtub and it worked out great. It's also a good idea to use a mister to try and get the bleach evenly all over the shirt. Now, I didn't have one, so I just poured it into a cup and poured that on the shirt, but it seems to have worked out. Next, you don't want those chemicals in your shirt, so go ahead and rinse it in cool water. I used the sink, but you can also just use the same bathtub that you dyed it in. Throw it in the dryer. And voila, you have a finished shirt. Custom made by you. Wasn't that fun? Are you ready to see the final look? I am. Let's try it on. <laughs> and here it is. This is the final product. I love it. It's so cozy. It's comfy. I got mine a little oversized. So it is the perfect lounge around, watch movies, do nothing in sweatshirt. And the best part is it is completely customized to me because I made it with my own hands and I did my own patterns. I did everything that I wanted and I love it. That's 
that's the best part about this craft. You got to add to your closet and you get to have so much fun doing it. It's a great bonding activity with your family. You're stuck inside. Do something fun and it's super affordable. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much. <laughs> so here it is. I think Look. she loved it. <laughs> Great! You know, even though she said it she used a cozy. cup instead of a, you know, a spray bottle, right. I think it, you're right, Nicole. It turned out fun thing it to try. Out really, really the neat. trending stuff. Mm -hmm. Keep okay. us updated, Nicole, because yes. I need to know these things. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, next on the show. Yep, next on the show, last year I got a chance to explore over at, in Fredericksburg, Wild Seed Farms. We're gonna take you there. We're gonna see what they're doing differently now and see how you can still get out there and enjoy some beautiful flowers. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, did you know the largest working wildflower farm is located just north of San Antonio in Fredericksburg? Yes, Wild Seed Farms has over 200 acres of fields covered with Texas flowers. Right now they have rocket larkspurs, which are really beautiful purple flowers and they're in full bloom, but there's so much more there to take in. They are open for business and we went out there this time last year. So here's a look back at this Texas Hill Country gym. <laughs> Another tourist attraction here in Fredericksburg is Wild Seed Farms. Not only is it the largest wildflower farm in the country, you can also do wine tasting and there's a beer garden too. It's all about the atmosphere here at Wild Seed Farms. We have a uh, wildflower farm uh, that consists of about 200 acres and we've got a gift shop, a nursery, a beer garden, a wine garden, walking trails, there's a lot to do surrounded by our flower farm right here off of 290. Wild Seed Farms is open seven days a week and all your planting needs can be answered here. While the spring season has passed, here's what you'll see now. Now we're getting ready to see vistas of golden uh, flowers, purple flowers, yellow flowers, black-eyed Susan, horse mint. So people can come here and actually see a live working wildflower farm. They're going to see tractors running, they're going to see us harvesting seed and uh, they can sit down and have a glass of wine or buy a live plant. John Thomas started this farm 35 years ago with a passion for wildflowers. It, like everybody else, we love the hill country. And my wife said, all I want is a little bitty gift shop. And you can see that's gotten out of hand. <laughs> Inside, some cute hill country knickknacks. And seeds, too, of course. Pottery, flowers, plant questions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm normally hanging around for wildflower co uh, questions. In 2015, they added a wine tasting room because Wild Seed Farms also has several varietals of grapes. These grapes thrive in the Texas Hill Country and many local vineyards use the grapes that are grown here. This family friendly place also includes quick bites for kiddos, peach ice cream, some frozen bellinis for the adults, and a line of Wild Seed Farm sauces and jams that you can sample. Mm. You know how? Good. Let's talk about what you have here, the product okay. here. So when people come out here as a family or just a little weekend getaway, what can we find here? Uh, we have the fig preserves. The ones that we have out are just the regular fig. We also have the sweet potato pecan butter, which this tastes just like Thanksgiving in a jar. I'm going to try this one on the cracker. Is that okay? Uh, certainly. Okay. Well, do you have a favorite? Uh, my favorite, probably the peach. We're in peach country, so you know, it's always wonderful. And speaking of peach, inside the Brubonnet Cafe, you'll also find some fruity wines. One of them, yep, you guessed it, a peach wine, y'all. That tastes like you just bit into a fresh peach. It does not taste that. like wine. No. And you don't taste alcohol, and all of these are 12% alcohol. Perfect for summer. Perfect for summer. Perfect. To me, this is one of those that you get it really cold, you go out after dinner, sit outside, watch a Texas sunset, and polish off a bottle. That's 
one it's just really easy to do. And this place is definitely dog friendly. People come from all over, uh, well, from all over the United States here. We have about 400,000 visitors a year here. And our motto is come for the flowers and stay for the atmosphere. So why should people come to Wildsea Farms? Because it's fun. For the whole family. For the whole family. That was fun. Again, all areas, wine tasting room, nursery, and store are open, but once again, that social distancing is required, and it's pretty easy to do there, as you can see. Yeah, lots, lots of space. Of space. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and if you can't make it out this month, keep them in mind for fall photos. They go all out in September mm -hmm. for that. There's your idea. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Tomorrow on SA Live, spending more time in your backyard or patio, how you can give it a budget-friendly makeover. And business is popping. There it is, it's popping. Yes, yeah. for one local family owned shop. How a social media video helped their business thrive overnight, getting online orders from all over the country. That and much more tomorrow at one right here on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, earlier we asked you to share your date night ideas from home and kind of just, well, you know, how you've been spending it. And this is from Florinda. She says, we tried to recreate the early 2000s and pretend to go to the club in our living room. So much club living room. Yes. All right. And of course, they found those outfits, you know, at a thrift store. And Julie says, we own Butterfly Creek glamping and luxury picnics in Fredericksburg. So we just glamped. Well, that's nice See, to have that. that. Lovely. Yes. And this one is from John. My wife loves to cook outside on the pit for us. She really can do anything. Amazes me even after 20 years and five children. Now let's eat. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Right. Yeah, grilling out there. Thanks for tuning in. Tomorrow again, popcorn. What's your favorite flavor? Oh my gosh, the pickle. The We have that. Pickle? Yes. Dill yes. pickle. Yes. <laughs>